everyone, I'm going to be doing a face of the day today, and I'm using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. I got this two days ago. I used it yesterday, and I'm really impressed, so I'm excited to share that with you. And also, I do want to let you know, today I used my Jennifer Aniston perfume. I love this perfume. She, I'm not a huge Jennifer fan. She's fine, but I'm on Team Angelina. But anyway, that's a whole other story. This is the 1.7. And it's $17 right now at Sephora, so I highly recommend that. You can't spray too much of it, which is always a good thing. Uh, I'm going to start today with my Too Faced Primed and Poreless. I did pick this up in the oil-free version, so I'll be trying that soon too. And I have a new foundation today. I haven't used it at all, so I'm really excited to share that with you as well. I'm going to start with the Garnier Eye Roller in the light color. Good grief. <laughs> I've got some dark circles today. And I'm just going to you know, rub that in with my finger. So I hope you're doing well. I'm right now dealing with Target. I had a red debit card to get the 5% off. With this big breach of security, I'm very upset. I have some bad charges, so I have to go deal with it. Yay. This is the Bobbi Brown Tinted Eye Brightener in Light to Medium Peach. And that's how that looks. And then the per the perfume. <sighs> the foundation I picked up was the Locket Tattoo Foundation. Lisa SZ09 recommended this to me. She just said a little goes a long way. I haven't used it, so I'm really excited to try it. And I'm gonna use the mirror, like I always do, and I'll do two pumps, just because I don't know what to expect here. I'm going to use the Sedona Lace Brush and give it a try. I'm really hopeful that this is like supposedly so full coverage you don't need to use a ton of, um, what do you call it, concealer. So we'll see. I got this in the color 46, in case you're wondering. I went to Sephora in my neighborhood here and said hello to all my friends there and they helped me pick this color so I'm excited to to try something matte. I love matte finish and a good true matte finish isn't always easy to come by. I mean as much as I love Clinique Stay Matte I don't feel it's a truly a matte finish. So let's see this seems to be applying pretty easily. So that's good and I know you all want to see this chocolate bar palette and it is really nice so I'm excited to share it. Let's see how's that look up close. Mm, it's pretty good. Okay. All right so that's there's that much left on the, the palette or whatever. I don't know I like it so far. Well I'll give you an update soon. I'll do a review. Okay so then I'm gonna set this with my Laura Mercier setting powder this is just the original version, and this is the Goss Holiday Brush. I uploaded a review of this yesterday. Not real thrilled with it. It does shed, and it bleeds. So I'm going to be exchanging it, but I figure I might as well use it since it's sitting here. It's not like they're going to send it out to someone else. Okay, so I just was sort of... Ooh, there's a hair stuck to my face. I hate that. Um, anyway, I'm just sort of lightly setting it with the setting powder. And then, um, I think I'm going to use the Tom Ford bronzer brush and my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. My hair is looking crazy right now. I haven't done anything with it yet. Oh well. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of contour first and then I might kind of lightly go over the whole face with this bronzer. I am noticing in photos and things that I like the look of more, a little bit more bronzer on my skin, so you may be seeing that in the future. A little more bronzing. Definitely not going to be a fake tanner, but I will bronze. Okay, so I love this brush. Oh my gosh, I love this brush. I'll give you a full review of this soon, but it's, it's fantastic. It doesn't get much better than that. And then I think I will use my Down Boy blush. This is from The Balm. And I'm going to use the Goss number two brush. My Wayne Goss has worn off. So 
So these brushes are funny because, you know, they're really, really soft and fun to use and they're, they're nice and what have you. But what gets me is when I use this brush for cheeks and highlight and things, it just looks so much better. So I'm a fan. What can I say? I'm a fan. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier highlighter. Not such a fan of the holiday brush, but I love the brush set. And right here. Okay. So that's my face. And now I'm just going to zoom in and show you what I will do with my eyes. Here is the palette, by the way. And here are the colors. And they are incredible. So I am going to be starting with this matte cream color and my Goss number no. 3, which is a fluffy dome brush, quite large. Oh shoot, I should have primed. Oh well. You know, I, I'm a big believer in eye primers, but this will give you a good sense of what it's like without a primer, so that's okay too. Okay. So that's the cream. And then in the crease, I'm going to be using this um, warm brown color. They do have names. I guess I could give you the names. Milk chocolate is what I'm going to be using in the crease. I'm going to grab the 04 Wayne Goss brush, which is a fluffy dome brush as well. I'm just going to go right in the crease with that. These are so soft, which is really nice. Okay. So then I'm going to take, <clears throat> excuse me, my Sonia Kashuk number 28 brush, which is kind of like a 239 from MAC, but maybe a little bit better. And I'm going to take which color here? I think I'm going to try this, this color. Oh, shoot. What is this? Black Forest Truffle, which is kind of a pinky shimmering maroon, I would almost say. I'm just going to put it right there on the outer edge of the lid. And I'm just going to press it on. Now, I have no complaints about this palette as of yet, but I will say this. It's extremely powdery. I don't know if you can see how much powder comes up when you use it. And that's, that, eh, I don't care for that. Okay, so I'm going to take what's left on this brush and go right there in the inner part of the eye. Okay, so you can see how that's sort of shaping up. Now I'm going to take, again, the 04 brush from Wayne Goss, and I'm going to take this sort of lighter brown color right here, which is called Amaretto. I'm going to use that in the center of the lid. So it has a little bit of depth to it, but it's, it's not all one color. I'm just going to kind of go back and forth to smooth out the transition there. Okay, so that's how that's looking. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush, this happens to be the Sigma E30, and the color, let's see, what is this called, semi-sweet, which is a matte brown, and I'm just going to go right here. Too Faced shadows typically are really, really nice. These don't seem to be an exception. My only gripe with it is that there's a lot of, it's not fallout on your brush, but it's a lot of fallout in the in the um, palette, which is sort of irritating. Okay, so then I'm gonna take the number five brush from Wayne Goss and the shimmery champagne color, which is called Champagne Truffle. I'm just gonna go right here. Just for a little bit of an inner corner pop of color. Okay. 
Okay. And then I'm going to take a little bit more on this brush, like so, and just sort of go right there. So it just sort of makes it brighter in the center. And then I'm going to take the big fluffy brush again and just kind of buff that together. Okay. So this has kind of turned into a bit of a smoky eye. I am going to take a little bit more of the cream color right here and just hit the brow bones. And for a liner, I'm going to be using, <coughs> excuse me, what is this? I keep grabbing the same color. Oops. I think I'll use, you know, black feline from MAC. So this palette, part of why I love it so far, is all of the matte shades, which is good. I mean, I think we all are always looking for a few more mattes. Okay. Alrighty. And then I'm just going to zoom back a little. It's kind of intense. <laughs> I don't want to be so in your face. Now I'm going to take my Illamasqua Brow Cake in Motto and my Sonia Kashuk Brow Brush. And I'm just going to fill in the brows. They're a little sparse these days. So overall, I really am enjoying this palette. I think it's really fun. It's got a lot of great basic matte colors and some good shimmers. I really like the inner corner highlight. I feel like that's really a good highlight. And this is my new favorite mascara, and I'm just really over the moon about it, and I wish I could tell you what it's called. I think it's called Volume Collagen. It's a voluminous collagen mascara. It's really, really good. I believe, I believe it's a dupe for, um, the, it, well, it's like a dupe but better for the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Which is nice, but I don't think I'll buy a full size. Oh, I just poked myself in the eye. Yay. All right, so there's the there's the look of the day. I hope that was fun. I really am liking this. Um, so there's all the shades, just so you get a better idea. It's really nice. Um, pretty good price. I hope it's not something that has a ton of fallout. I hate that. And I'll I'll keep I'll give you an update on that in a few days. I'll just keep keep working on it and playing with it. And in the meantime, I'm gonna. Pick a color here, I think blush from Bite, and uh, this is in the set of uh, four lipsticks, I think they still have them. So it's a nice pink, and then I'm just going to top that with this, th this thing I'm about to toss anyway, this uh, Makeup Forever Lab Shine in S2. So that's my look of the day. Let me know what you think of that. I hope that was easy. And um, any requests, let me know, and I will talk to you very soon. Thank you so much for being here. Bye-bye.